Hi, welcome to Hammer Happenings. My name is Greg Lanko. Please help me in welcoming our first guest from Doors Open Hamilton, Rachel Burney. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Uh, doors Open, my pleasure. Doors Open Hamilton happens May 4th and 5th. And I got to tell you, I don't know what it is. What is that? It's usually places that either charge admission, they're not normally open to the public, or they're offering some kind of special um, tour that day specifically about their site. Okay, so what is this? That is the Dundas Wastewater Treatment Plant. Okay. And this year they are celebrating their 100th anniversary. This site has never been on doors open before, so it's brand new. That looks like Dundurn. Dundurn Castle, of course, a very popular site always, built in 1835 for Sir Alan McNabb. Yeah. It is a self-guided tour that day, mm -hmm. but also on the property you can visit the cockpit, which is usually not open to the public, yeah. as well as the Hamilton Military Museum and the two-acre kitchen garden. That is the Playhouse Cinema, so they are the oldest cinema here in Hamilton. They are oh, located yeah. on Sherman. Recently restored, they'll be showing short films and silent films all day that you can go and visit. So a very cool location. That is the Joy Center for Partnership and Innovation at uh, Mohawk College. They are brand new. They just uh, let their first students in this fall. They'll be giving tours on kind of, they're the first net free institutional building here in Hamilton. So they will be giving tours of their dermo, geothermal technology and oh. different kind of feature, environmental features that they have on site. I can see how that would be really interesting. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Westdale Theatre is uh, also on at Westdale Cinema, I should say. So same type of uh, thing as the Playhouse Cinema. Uh, however, the theme this year is communication for Doors Open Ontario, so they fit really well into that theme as well. Right. And Cable 14 will also be open for Doors Open. That's right, we will. Yeah. <laughs> This is the Westinghouse headquarters, so also they've never been on doors open. So Westinghouse was a huge employer, of course, in Hamilton, building refrigerators, toasters back in the yeah, day. Indeed. So they've totally uh, refurbished it, restored it. So it's built originally in 1917, and they'll be offering tours and also showing historic uh, pictures of the Westinghouse headquarters. That is Whitehern, so uh, Hamilton Civic Museum, where the McQuesten family lived for 116 years, over three generations. It's really, really important to discover your own city. Maybe that building that you drive past every single day on your way to work, you didn't know what it was. Yeah. It's your opportunity to go and see it, explore your city, learn our great heritage and history that we have here. It's also really good for people visiting the city to kind of discover what we're all about. Okay. And 50 sites, I mean, is two days enough time? It's not enough time to no. see all of them, unfortunately, yeah. but if it's some of the same sites year time and time again, so you can kind of pick and choose the ones that you want to go to, and they're all free. Rachel Burney from Doors Open Hamilton. It's happening on May the 4th and the 5th. Yep. Thank you very much for coming Thank in. Thank you. It's, uh, it's been great. On Saturday, May the 4th, Cable 14 will once again be participating in Doors Open Hamilton. Come on by and check out our studio. See you inside our control room. And since it's May the 4th be with you day, imagine yourself on a spaceship or on another planet. Come and visit Cable 14 on Saturday, May the 4th between 10 and 4. It's an out of this world experience.